Hi, I'm Dr. Ray Drew with the Upper Cervical Spine Center, and uh, today I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, TMJ, uh, Temporal Mandibular Joint Dysfunction. Uh, a lot of people have discomfort in the jaw uh, with opening the mouth, you know, popping, grinding. I had it for many, many years, uh, and every time I would eat, I would pop, and then sometimes it would just get sharp, like stabbing pain in the jaw. Sometimes it would even lock up where I couldn't open my mouth wide enough to even get food in. It used to drive me crazy. Well, when I started uh, going to an upper cervical chiropractor, uh, one of the many benefits, all of a sudden I realized that one day my jaw quit popping and I never had any more discomfort. It never locked up on me anymore. And that was Oh, 25 years ago. So I haven't had any TMJ problems ever since, but I've actually helped oh, hundreds of people with the same situation with their TMJ. So what we've concluded that happens is the so the jaw joint, this is a freely hanging bone, this jaw right here. It's a free joint and it has two ball joints on each side up into the skull. And what happens is, is the ligaments that hold the joint there, as long as the ligaments are healthy, then they hold that joint up there so that it can now move like it's supposed to as the jaw opens and closes. But what can happen is that the ligaments can actually, if they don't get the full nerve supply, the ligaments can actually get slack. They get weak and the ball joint on one side will fall a little bit. And what we'll see a lot of times when we're doing our analysis is somebody with the TMJ problem, when they open their mouth, their jaw will kind of shift. It'll go like, like, like that. And what that means is that one, it's not even on both sides. If one side dropped a little bit, then they'll shift like that when it opens. So if uh, from an upper cervical chiropractic standpoint, the reason those ligaments have gotten loose and that ball has kind of slid out of its normal position uh, is because of the nerve health. The nerve flow to the ligaments has gotten interfered with, and so the lig ligaments then get un less than full health, less than healthy, and they get a little loose and they get a little lax, and so the jaw joint will kind of open up a little bit. So what happens then is it starts to kind of wear down. It can get hung in certain positions. It can pop and crack as it moves back and forth, and most definitely can cause a lot of discomfort. So if we find, so, so the nerves that come out and innervate that, the ligaments there, of that joint, are at the very top of the neck, the brainstem area, right at the very upper cervical spine. And uh, if we find a problem there, if we can correct the problem, then all of a sudden the nerve supply gets back to the jaw joint. The ligaments then will draw back up as they get healthy again, and then the jaw joint starts to work as it's designed again, and it'll rock back and forth in that ball inside the joint as it was designed, and then the TMJ problems can clear up. The pain, the popping, uh, the locking sensations can all clear up. So if you have a TMJ problem, or if you have had a history, or if you have a family member that does, make them an appointment. 